What's going on everyone? Welcome to another adventure with Official Outdoors. Hopefully you enjoy this Catalina overnight and fishing trip. Look at this guy. He managed to jump into the bait pin where the sardines are held to try to get a free meal. We've seen him a couple of times. He's a repeat offender. Alright everyone, try to be a good human being. Uh, there shouldn't yep. be any trash floating around in the ocean, but unfortunately there are. So on our way to our fishing spot, we spotted a big plastic trash bag, which isn't good for the marine life. So we did what we did, we picked it up. Um, we try to do this every single time we go out and we see trash floating in the ocean. So please keep our earth clean. Good job. We've seen a lot of Dorado activities. Uh, they've been jumping out of the water and hanging around these kelp patties that are floating around us. So we did notice a lot of boats out on this day. It created a lot of pressure on the fish, so that's why they weren't biting. Here we are just cruising around trying to locate kelp patties because that's where they like to hang out. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of them. Oh my god. The sunfish. As the search continues for the Dorado, we did spot a patch of kelp. We decided to go check it out and lo and behold, we see these guys swimming around. Let's go ahead and go underwater and take a look at them, shall we? This fellow was so cute. He was so curious about the boat. He kept swimming next to it and taking a look at it and checking the boat out for a couple of minutes. So we were in this spot for a couple of hours fishing and then of course all the other boats and cattle boats started moving into the area which created a lot of pressure on the fish. They were not biting. They're definitely here. We've seen them jump out of the water. I was able to capture some underwater footage. You guys will see in the next scene that they're swimming around but they were just not interested in any of the bait that we were throwing out at them. Thank <laughs> you. 
we basically spent the entire day chasing Dorado and trying to catch them. Unfortunately, we were not successful. They did not want to bite the bait that we had. So at this point, the wind was kicking up and the weather was turning bad. So we decided to head into Catalina to do some inshore fishing before we head over to Two Harbors. And that's where we're going to anchor up and stay for the evening. Oh, it's a <gasps> lobster! Oh my god! <laughs> wow, he wants that. Can you get some pliers, please? So after anchoring up and getting situated, we decided not to blow up the inflatable kayak that we brought along and called the Harbor Patrol to take us into the dock area. As we were walking up to the restaurant, we did notice quite a bit of people. Uh, apparently the Catalina Classic is going on. Uh, it's a paddleboard competition. That's why there were so many people. We both got burgers for dinner. It took a very long time for us to get our dinner since they were so busy. So by the time we finished dinner, it was already dark. Uh, we did end up fishing and hanging out for a little bit on the boat. So this is where we're gonna leave you guys and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
After enjoying our coffee and the morning views, it was time to pack up and head out. We're going to go back over to the Avalon area, scout out some fishing spots, and do a bit of fishing today. back over to the Avalon area. This is us just cruising and taking in uh, the scenery and also trying to find a good fishing spot. Keep in mind if you fish in Catalina there are no take zones which means you cannot fish in that area so be careful. So the first catch of the day was a beautiful bonita caught by babe using a sabiki uh, with some squid on it. We were trying to catch some live bait but we ended up with this guy instead. Oh, it is yeah. a sheephead. I don't want to. <laughs> oh. That was good footage. A half wood? Yeah. Did 
Probably another cow. It's a fish with kelp on it. <laughs> little cow. Oh. oh my god, it's tiny. Oh my god, it's <laughs> turning. It. Catalina later than expected. 
it and the ride conditions back were horrible and was very bumpy and windy as you can tell from the footage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.